Hey guys, I am Abhishek. Welcome all of you to Code with Newton. In this video, this is actually a series of three videos. Okay, so in the first video, I'll be talking about how I got my, uh, like what do you say, offer for a Google interview. Okay, and basically what all happened before starting the interview. Step number one, this is about that. Okay, so I have made the, the given it a name of video, Google pre-interview experience, number one. Okay, you have a lot of things going on. Number two, number second video, I'll explain you about like, what do you say, how I actually prepared for my Google interview, okay? Step number three, I'll explain you how Google interview actually went and what are the problems that happened uh, from my side in Google interviews and where could I have improved, okay? Okay, guys, so let's get started. So now, the first thing, okay. So this is my Google, like this, in this video, I'll be talking about the complete experience of Google pre-interview experience. So what does the word pre-interview experience means? So usually when you apply in such big companies, there are a lot of things going on even before your interview gets started. Okay, you'll be amazed how the things basically go. Okay, so I'll get started with this fact, how it actually started, okay. So let's suppose you open a LinkedIn or something, like I hardly use, Facebook and Instagram. Like you can say, I'm more addicted to our LinkedIn. I open LinkedIn more often than Instagram and Facebook. Like Facebook, I op don't open, I guess, once in a month also. And Instagram also, same thing. Once in a week, I just open, my, open and check out my notifications. Okay. But LinkedIn, I usually, okay, every day, I open it a quite a number of times. So one such day, okay, I open LinkedIn and I saw a job, like you sometimes get a job uh, description in your inbox, right? Okay, this and this is hiring, like, are you interested? Then please reply and all that. Okay, and that that mail was from Google. So step number one, first I checked it, okay, it was, is it a spam or not? Okay, I checked it, I checked out the profile, the person who sent me, okay. And I went there, okay, and I know he's really a person who's working in Google. He has a good number of followers and all that. So I assumed, okay, it was not a spam. It was a real uh, interview. It was a real, like, what do you say, a job description and all that. And the uh, things that was actually written, I as I remember, it was more written, like, if I was interested, please uh, reply there and they will accordingly reach out to me. Okay, step one. So then I replied, yes, yes, sir. of course, I'm interested. Who will say no? For that fact right everyone even if you are doing job somewhere you have no idea of changing it but still you will give a interview just to check out how your interview experience was okay so yes I, of course i told yes and uh, send the details required details whatever they wanted like phone i guess the email id where they can connect with uh, me on meets okay then of course we had a call so there were a few things in the call. Okay, of course he asked me about my skills, what uh, what were I was doing for last three years, and what all technologies I am good with. Okay, if I'm selected here, what technology I would like to work. Okay, these all things. He also explained me about the interview process and all that. So let's go it one by one. So step one, he asked me about my skills, like uh, whether I'm a front end guy, whether I'm a back end guy, like both, but maybe like. Like you can know both front end and back end, but you are more suited to a back end or more suited to a front end. So I told him, okay, with front end, back end, both. Okay, he asked me which all uh, things I'm very comfortable at. So I told Python and JavaScript are my things like Node.js, Django, and React, all these things. And he was like, okay, great. Like it's not like you cannot see his face and say he was impressed by your profile. I think this was very normal for him, uh, full stack developer. Okay, so he was like, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, like usually when you talk to uh, a recruiter from a very small company, they will give you a smile, but there was no smile like that. Yeah, like, okay, no problem. He's from Google. So that is okay. <laughs> okay, so now what basically happened? Now he explained me, he told me, okay, so you can apply here for a full stack, okay? And he gave me a link to like uh, update my details and all that, like put my resume, write each and everything. Like he told me to fill it after the call. Okay, so I took the link. Okay, I'll say, okay, awesome. Okay. Then what he did, he explained me about the complete interview process. Okay, so this was the interview process, step number one. He told me usually we have four rounds. Okay, all the four rounds will be of around, I guess, 45 minutes or 40 minutes as I recall, something like that, 40 or 45 minutes. Okay, in which I will get two questions in every round. Okay, so first three were the technical rounds. The two questions in every round, I'll get 20 minutes to solve a question. You can take more time, but uh, again, for the next question, you will have less time. Okay, and the questions will be like, uh, it will be in simple words, he told lead code hard, even more than lead code hard. 
Okay. So the point was like, you will not get questions which are direct. I mean to say, you read a question and okay, this is what I have to do. No, this, like he told you have to think, okay. The questions will be not very direct. Like usually the real world situations are not direct to us, right? You have to think a lot. How can I make this question, convert this question in a way so that I will be able to figure out, okay, what I have to do. So you have to ask question from the interviewer. Okay. Is this your expectation? Is this your expectation? This is what um, you want me to, this is what one you want me to do. These are the test cases that I have to try. These all things you have to try. Okay. Okay. So the questions will never be direct. This is what he told me. Okay. The next thing, okay, he done, he told me sometime and uh, the last also, this way the, for the first three rounds. The fourth round, he told me it will not be a technical round. It will be more be, you can say, around to access your character so that are you a suitable candidate that you can fit in Google or not? He told, even if you fail in the fourth round, you're out. And that round is also equally important like all the technical rounds. I like, okay, no problem. <laughs> we'll see that. Okay. Then he also told sometime, you, it may not happen in your case, but sometime, we can also have a screening round, which may be a phone call in which you will get a little easier question. And his easier question was lead code medium, not lead code easy. Okay, like he was clearly mentioning the word lead code. Okay. So lead code medium. Okay, so that can be one or two questions just to like, if you are okay, able to answer them, then you'll go to the actual rounds. But he told in your case, uh, we may skip the screening round. I don't know why. Okay. Okay, so now the next thing. Okay, he told, okay, great. So then he told me, he explained me more about like what will be the level of questions and all that he kept on going for some time. Okay. Then he told me, I asked me, okay, I asked, uh, like he only asked me, sorry. Uh, I did not uh, knew about that fact earlier. Right? So he asked me that, okay, do you need time for preparation? I'm like, awesome, man. Uh, no one have ever asked me before an interview like that. I'm like, great. So uh, I told, yeah, I already am teaching data structures and algorithm and I have been studying it for a quite while. So I don't need a lot of time, but I guess two weeks will be enough. So he, he was quite satisfied and he gave me two weeks. Then later I realized that even if I have asked for a month, he would have easily given, but I'm like, okay, great, no problem. Okay. So now he told me, okay, take two weeks. And um, I guess that's all he told me. Okay, and he gave me some preparation guide for uh, like, he sent me on mail, okay, like these are the topics that you need to go through. He gave me some other website where you can go through and try these problems. Okay, then the most shocking thing he told me, okay. So now you have to, he told like, you must practice writing your code on Google Docs. You heard it right, it was Google Docs. And I'm like, Google Docs, not on any ID. He told you are not you allowed to use any ID for Google interview. I'm like, oh my God, really? How can I write on Google Docs? Like it's the most frustrating thing, but you cannot do anything. It's their company, their choice. Okay. Nice. So that all happened in the first call. Okay. And then he told that we'll connect uh, maybe after a day or two after you have filled that form. Okay. So I filled that form. Okay. Then he, uh, we connected again. So in this, like uh, what happened, he did not uh, clearly explain me about the third round in the first and second round, he explained me. Third round was not very clear to me how it will happen. I thought it will be a data structure rather round. First and second round was a data structure. Fourth round, I told you that behavior thing. Third round, he explained me about the third round in this call. Okay, he told like you are both a front-end and back-end developer. So we will access your front-end skill in the third round. Same pattern, two questions, 45 minutes. Okay, the pattern was same. Okay, and he also gave me some of the uh, materials for preparation guide for front end. So it was not very detailed as it was for data structures, but yeah, it was there. Awesome, awesome. So then uh, he also, in this call, we also discussed about the interview. I mean to say how the interview will take place. So we decided a date, he, he gave me two weeks to prepare it. So uh, he gave me a date and all the four rounds will happen on the same day. So I'm like, okay, no problem. Uh, uh, like if you have to be sad or happy, you will be just sad or happy in just one day, right? Okay. <clears throat> so this was the thing. Then uh, basically what happened? And then I guess, yeah, that was it for the second call. Then we had few calls like that. He just wanted to keep checking how is my preparation going? Okay. Like he don't want it, I guess. Uh, I don't know, but I think he does not want it to waste the time. Okay. So he was checking how my preparation was going. Do Was I actually preparing in these two weeks or not? Okay. These all things were there. Okay, so there were several times he called, several times he asked, okay. He also gave me like, I guess his email ID, if I need any help, do ping him anytime. So I guess these were some of the things that basically happened in the, like what do you say, before the interview, okay. 
and then <clears throat> of course like how i basically prepared and how the interview went away let's take in the next uh, series of videos okay so if you guys have any question okay any confusion about anything okay um ah, yeah, like you will usually have a confusion about like what topics what preparation material he sent so i'll be talking about uh, more of that in my second video so those things will be very much clear to you okay so i hope that's all from my side yes uh, one more thing i applied as a 3 years experience candidate okay so this was not a fresher uh, kind of interview but i guess it's almost similar the level of questions may go a little down maybe like from lead code hard to lead code medium but the pattern will exactly be same okay guys so that's all see you later bye bye correct